Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on uh, body plot series. In today's video though, we are going to do reverse engineering, meaning uh, the past videos we had um, been given a uh, transfer function and we were asked to derive the body plot. In today's video, we are going to be given a body plot and we are asked to derive the transfer function. So we kind of going backward here which is very important because you know you may be asked that in your exams or the FE exam as well and so the first step here uh, is to identify your omegas your frequencies uh, so that's the first step so where do I have a change in slope here I have uh, a change in slope at 1 because you're going from you know 0 to uh, plus 20 let's put the 20 dBs here first so this is a um, constant here at minus 20. Um, I have a, let me write it down here. I have a plus 20 dB per decade slope. I have a zero dB, of course, per decade. And I have minus 20 dB per decade of slope, right? So I do have a change here at one, at 10, and at 100 so my omegas would be my omega zeros or whatever you want to call it would be 1 10 and 100 so I know I have a zero or pole depending if it's at origin or not a real pole real zero at 1 or real pole a real zero at 10 real pole a real zero at 100 so these are my frequencies and if you look at these equations here these omegas here represent the ones over here. So once you know if it's a real pole or real zero, then you're able to see if it's going to go up into the numerator for a zero, or if it's going to go down, you know, at the denominator for a pole, because your zeros are at the numerator, but your poles are at the denominator. So what we are interested in seeing here is a change in slope. Let's use a different color. So a change in slope. So here at one, what am I seeing? At one omega equals one here. I'm going from a zero slope to a plus 20 slope. So uh, let's put that down. So at omega equals one, I have a, I'm added, I have added a plus 20 dB in slope. So what does that tell me? Um, a plus 20 dB is a real zero. So I know that at omega one, I have a real zero, which is represented by the equation right here is S over omega zero is one plus one. And a real zero goes into the, nu uh, the numerator. So this will be my first one at the numerator. Okay, so at 10, what do I have at 10? At omega equals 10, again, you're looking at a change in slope. So I have a zero dB here. So what does that tell me? If I have a zero slope here, that means I have added a minus 20. I do not have a zero 20. I mean, a zero dB, I have a minus, I have added minus 20 dB in order for me to get 0 dB. So I have minus, I have added minus 20 dB. So that's the change in slope. So if you have a minus 20 dB, what does that tell me? That I do have a real pole at omega equals 10. So I have a real pole at omega equals 10, which means I have S, I have at the denominator though, um, I have S over 10 plus 1. So it's at the, at the denom. And again, so I've done my 1, I've done my 10, and so now the last one is 100. So what happens at 100? At 100, at omega equals 100, I'm going from a, a zero slope to a minus 20 slope. So what is the change? 
So again, you're not looking at um, the actual slope, you're looking at the change in slope. So here the change in slope is minus 20 because you're going from a plus 20 to a zero. So that's why at 10, we had a minus 20 dB. But here at 100, we're going from a zero dB to a minus 20 dB. So minus 20 dB plus zero is minus 20. So I have a minus 20 dB, a change of minus 20 dB, which means again, I have a real pole which means I do have S over 100 plus 1 at the denominator. So let's put all this together. My terms are done. You know, I don't have any more uh, frequencies here. So let's use a green color to put all of this together. So if I put all of this together, it means, so my um, equation though, however, is k, of course, my transfer function um, is k numerator, so I wrote it down already, right? So I have s plus 1, that's my real 0, and the denominator, I do have an s over 10 plus 1, and then I have another pole, s over 100 plus 1, right? So now you can simplify this if you want. Um, so I can have k s plus 1. So it's not really too bad once you kind of know the steps. Um, um, you know, you can take out uh, 10 here in order for you to make 10 here. So uh, you will have to... Uh, and so I have to take out 1 um, over 10 here. So we, what we're doing right now is just simplifying to a standard um, equation. So s over, um, I mean s plus, uh, plus 10. And then um, if I take out 1 over 100 here, then I have s plus 100. And so my constant would be here, uh, 1 over 1,000. And if you flip it, your k would be, um, I mean, not your k, but you will have 1,000 on top. So then I have uh, 1,000k. Uh, is it 1,000k? Yes, 1,000k. So this is just simple math, you know, just a process of simplification. Um, S plus 10. You can leave it like this too if you want, really. But um, it's better to go all the way because you need your K, depending on if, you, if they ask you for the constant K or not. So S plus 10 times S plus 100. Now all I got to do is find my, um, my K. And I know for a fact um, 20 log of K is my constant. And going back to the diagram, going back to the plot, I have a constant at minus 20. So, so then I have 20 log. So then to find, so this is the first expression. Let me So find k now. So in order for you to find k, you know that um, 20 log of 1000 k is equal to minus 20 because of your constant over here. And again, if you don't remember, just go watch part one and part two, then you know how to draw a constant. You know, it's just a constant on a dB scale. And so um, here, using the calculator, you just you can take k, um, uh, put it on the calculator, then k is equal to one one hundred. In uh, your constant in general, you know, not this k, but the whole the whole constant is equal to. So my final expression is. Um, is 100 s plus 1 over s plus 10 
is plus one hundred. So this will give you, I think, 0 0.1, and then you just plug in here, 0 0.1 times 1,000, that's 100. So this is my final final uh, transfer function. So I didn't want to make this video too long. Um, hope I didn't go too fast, but um, if you have any questions, just comment down below and let me know. Thank you for watching.